might be able to smash through here, though I can only actually attack that from one position. So all of my tanks wouldn't be in the fight. The other thing I could do is try and make my tanks 40 combat width, but that's going to take time to get the equipment to do that with. I mean, I'm trying to punch through into just one province at the moment. It's just really soddy and difficult. I have 11 divisions defending this right now. 11. I was too hasty there. We should have had more men here. And the other thing we could do is try and send some troops up to the Russians to help bolster their own defences. But then we have to deal with Russian infrastructure. And because he can't build infrastructure in Allied territory, that would just annihilate my army through attrition. Even if we do have Logistics Wizard to help with that. You can actually get Unyielding Defender. Do it. Gamlan's like the king of defense. Ah, oh, Joris has leveled up. Uh, no he hasn't, he just has a slot free. Where am I getting all of these convoys from? I'm not producing anymore. Right? Nope. Alright, I think that we have enough medium tanks now to switch your template out for some more mediums. Your breakthrough is now 232. Could switch the template to 40s and then smash the divisions together. It could actually be a good idea. Except I don't think I have the experience for it right now. Because what would it be? It would be mostly motorized. Could start adding mechanized, which would make us a lot harder to kill. Let's stick you with three. Start adding some mechanized. Unfortunately, I'm not building any planes at the moment, so I really need to sort out my military factory production first. Could add some motorized artillery to the tank template, would add soft attack and break through without the speed penalty. Yeah, I did consider that. As I was looking at that template, in fact, I was thinking, uh, I could do this. Because that would be these guys. So basically what I could do is replace these guys with mechanized, then add motorized artillery with the motorized that we're freeing up by not having the motorized units anymore, but we would need the mechanized to actually do that. Which means building a lot of mechanized. I mean, once we have all of the medium tanks in place, we can tone down our medium tank production and get mechanized instead. In fact, we may well be able to do that sooner than later. Probably still support equipment and also artillery and also anti-tank. <laughs> we just have a lot of shortages. Like, Germany can just outproduce us. In a really big way. So we are catching them slowly but surely. 
We have 81 military factories. They have 200, probably. And I'm having to send a portion of my production to Russia just to keep them in the war. Which is fair enough. I mean, Russia is taking on a massive portion of this fight. Though Russia is also just hemorrhaging troops. This has definitely become a bit of a grind, trying to punch through. Right, where are my tanks right now? Tanks are actually in a position where they're not taking attrition. Strength still under strength. Yeah, they need that medium tank support. Oh, we have enough heavy tanks for another heavy tank unit. Got to keep those coming. Even if we're losing a ton of experience. Might even be worth backing some of these guys off so I can train them. Possibly. Nice. From underneath their main battle fleet, which has clearly been alerted to the fact that we have a bunch of submarines out here now. And we're just going to keep on adding them, because they're being quite effective. Uh, ah! New guns. Excellent. And we do actually want night vision. That's a pretty hefty bonus. We'll start producing those straight away. I mean, that's part of it, is I suspect Germany's just got better technology than we do. We were a little behind because France starts off quite slow. And also, it's 44. I need to get the 1944 aircraft. Convoys. Pushed us right back to that border. Damn it. Guys, you were beating Japan. What's happened? You've been pushed right back. Let me guess. India's out of manpower. Yep, that's what happened. I'm so tempted to hack in as India. Turn off the requirement penalties and just get them the next level. Because it's such a stupid restriction that India can't use their manpower. Yeah, exactly. How does India run out of manpower? It should not be possible. Especially now that they've been made a dominion. And there doesn't seem to be a way of getting rid of the famine, or at least reducing the famine penalties. Like, the amount of manpower that India can use is woeful. It's like half a million. It's one of my least favourite things about... Vanilla Hearts of Iron. I'm trying to think how you do it. I know how you can make it so you can take... Tech, uh, diplomacy. Without any requirements. Because with India, to become limited conscription, you need to be fully independent. You can't do it without that. Which is stupid. <laughs> oh, you have to be fully independent to do any of them. I thought it was just to not be volunteer. So not only can you not get any further than volunteer only, but you're also limited in how much you can raise because of the agrarian population reducing your population factor by 69%. Oh, I 
hate the way that's implemented. I really do. And the really, really, really mind-blowing thing is if anyone else capitulates India, they don't get those penalties. Because it's a faction penalty, it's not a local penalty. If it was a local penalty, it'd be like, okay, if Japan takes that, then they still have a famine. But no, if Japan suddenly takes India, then suddenly the famine's just gone. Disappeared. Add autonomy Raj. Oh, 1000 Raj. That doesn't work. Google, I want to see why for console commands, please. Ah, it's the tag, then the number. Raj, and then a thousand. No, apparently not. Underscore, not space. Oh, it is underscore. Um. Oh, that did it. Can't I do that now? Clicking it, nothing's happening. Ah. Ah! They are still in the Allies. Good. They still have the Agrarian Society penalty. Um, they have not actually mobilized the full amount of troops that they could have. But now we can do that. I'm going to give them... 150 political power, which I'm going to then use to give you a free limited conscription. And then I'm going to tag back to Fra. You're going to have to fight Pakistan, but now at least you can do stuff. Watch Pakistan join the Axis. Oh, they will. Although they're not at war with each other, this is just territory which is currently neutral. Maybe they won't. He's actually got a significant amount of industry. Oh, man. Lost one of my heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, and some destroyers. That sounds suspiciously like a recon fleet. And those notifications are not going away. Now it is. That wasn't all of my recon fleets, was it? That was two of them. Huh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Gonna need some more destroyers for recon. Alright, are we ready to attack this? Why are you attacking here? Alright, stop that. You're being stupid. Cancel that. Spearhead. There. Go. Why are you still attacking here? That is not part of the plan. See, work together and you can succeed. Morons.
Goobly Bulgar, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. India's fully functional now, yes. Although Japan's hunting down my ships with a vengeance. Well, the surface fleet, anyway. But I'm hunting down their convoys with a vengeance, so no, 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 no. How many you are? We've knocked him down for like 1,100 down to 750, so we are having a huge impact. Still zero manpower, but it should be ticking up now. Yeah, Germany with the latest patch is crazy strong. Well, with man the guns, I mean. Whatever they've done to fix the German AI, please apply that to everyone else. Because clearly the Soviets need that kind of love as well. They've probably lost 10 million now. Yep, 10 million. Germany's lost 3.3. .3. This is all just Soviets suiciding themselves, I know it. Uh, do I have any spare guns? I have 6,000. Startland lease. 6229. Fall of Kiev. I mean, it's taken a while to happen, but yeah, bad. Yeah, I know I need oil. It's fine. Just because the Soviets aren't actually exporting any anymore. Okay, they're exporting one. When's my next technology done? A couple of days. Although, 46 days until that oil refining. Uh, I saw this pop up momentarily. I'd like some more military factories, please. Thank you. Yugoslavia has claimed Macedonia. Aha! You succeeded! Well, in that case, punch through. Don't stop. Keep going. Joao has been wounded. That's really frustrating. And also, <laughs> you guys are doing everything except what I told you. Small surplus of medium tanks. There we go. Now we're punching through. And I'm hoping that we're quick enough that we can get a crossing across the Rhine. Because if I can get into here, I can go behind them and then liberate the Netherlands from behind. What I'm going to have to do is shorten this line and lengthen Maginot's. Where's yours? There it is. Up to here. Now you've done a great job not breaking the line, so please keep doing that. Because of manual order, that's how much uh, planning prep they lost. Another thing I dislike about vanilla. Alright, 
This is going to be a challenge. But if I get across, it's going to be amazing. But they are reinforcing it pretty heavily. Yeah, I don't think we've done enough. We don't have the uh, planning prep for this assault. Because I did that manually. You can hit like one province and then have to wait forever to regain it all. Especially as France where your planning prep is a terrible. Which is another massive nerf for Grand Battle Plan. In fact, that's probably the biggest nerf. That's massively in favour of uh, mobile warfare. Because you just regenerate super fast. That might be why I don't micro much compared to many other streamers. Because I almost never take mobile warfare. We've lost the momentum. It's gone. Ooh, heavy cruiser. Nice. And we've got enough for another submarine group, which are going to go here, I think. Quite nice being able to churn out this many submarines so quickly. Then I think we're going to get like Philippine Sea. Ooh, battleship, nice. So I think we want to get one more set of subs, and then we are going to. Ooh, they actually sank a sub, but we took a battle cruiser in revenge. And then I think we're going to build some more destroyers because we're going to need them. Soviets really are starting to be hit hard. Okay, what next? Well, that's everything here. Well, in fact, what I could do is just double down and get both of the encryptions. Joie still wounded. I'd kind of forgotten about that. 72 days? What? Alright, Orléans, you're up. No, actually, no, you're not. Let's bring BA in. Below. And then we're going to bring Orion to guard thingy down here. How are the Italians doing? Have you done any more crazy attacks? Doesn't look like it. We could try to attack across the Alps, but this is a lot of people defending. I'm not at all convinced by that working. No, don't think so. I mean, if we can sink all of, or well, the majority of Japan's convoys, and they cannot reinforce China anymore. But I think the damage is done. Like, the Soviets are going down. Yeah, they're even pushing back. India, we're relying on you. Become the new Soviet Union, please. Yes, they have manpower. India's back in business. Ooh, we sank the pride of the fleet. Nice. Sneaky, sneaky subs doing the job. Can I promote you anymore? You're almost level 7.
Don't send people to a pointless death. I've been very careful not to do that. Hence my own losses stand at 730,000 compared to Britain's 2.7 million. Uh, actually, India's only lost 800,000, but that's because of their manpower limitations. And then Soviet Union's 10 million. How many has Germany's got at this point? I mean, they've gone to all adult serve, but they have about 9 million. Italy's only got 1.4. I'm a little bit cons wait, did Siam join? No. So how are you attacking out of Siam? That's not allowed. You can't attack from neutral territory. So how have they done this? Oh no, it's always been like that. Never mind. Yeah, I just realized it's always been three provinces. Never mind, that's natural. Okay, um... I really need to think of a way of defending this, because I'm worried that they will start to push. I mean, they're not right now, but they very easily could. Japan's lost only 2.8 million. It's not enough. The Soviets just hemorrhaging troops like this. Just can't stop them from doing it. And even if you feed them guns, they keep on doing it. 